Uh, we actually met at a coffee bean at Gateway Orchard and they were celebrating my birthday and yeah, I was meeting a group of them and he was just one of that group and I found him very quiet, really, oh my gosh, I, he's like a mouse. So I chased her for a few months and uh, I actually got rejected a few times like uh, indirectly but Indirectly, it was very direct here. Yeah. <laughs> because I never really uh, let like confess my feelings to her as well. Yeah. Yeah, so but all our friends knew that I was going after her and it was very obvious. Yeah, and they actually approved of him but I felt that I couldn't click with him because he couldn't talk. He no, like, she like had I'm another safe. guy then. Yeah, thanks for <laughs> telling the whole world. She but, liked another guy then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, it was a fatal mistake. Fatal mistake. I, I didn't even make a mistake, <laughs> ah, so it was okay. In the end, I felt that he was a good guy and he really took care of me. And then when I was sick, he came by with uh, some porridge and all that. Then I thought like... <laughs> you just give yourself a thumbs up. But anyway, he just really took care of me. Ah, so I thought, why not just uh, give it a try. I thought to myself when I got together with him, well, if it doesn't work out... Just give it a try. Right? Yeah, you know, like, you can just break up. <laughs> but it was really time. the right time and right moment that we got together because right after that, I actually went for my grad trip. Yeah. And I was yeah, away yeah, for yeah, more yeah. than two weeks. So that was when she knew that she Yeah, then I kind of missed him. Yeah. And then after... Oh. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> So the big day happened um, on which day was it? Huh? Twenty twentieth December. What? Oh yes. Yes, twentieth December two two zero one five. And and I actually proposed at the same place that I asked her to be my girlfriend. I got a few of her close friends as well as a few of my close friends, and we decorated the place. Initially, we planned it such that we were going to celebrate uh, uh, Christmas together. Christmas together. Yeah, it was an early just Christmas. Just a small celebration between small, us and yeah. friends. I told her best friend to stay with her the night before and then her, her best friend would coordinate with yeah, us. Pre-end them. <laughs> pre them. But I kind of like guessed that might be a proposal when my mom said, Why you wear shorts? Then I was like, since when you care about what I wear? Yeah, and then they surprised me and I'm, I And cried. she said the epic. Like, yeah. So I was playing the guitar, right? And then I changed the lyrics for, uh, you know, much just the way you are. And then <laughs> I, I changed it to Will you marry me for one one of the lines or one of the sentences? Yeah, and then, and then I, I just answered him straight you know, I said, of course. Eh. Then after that, everyone laughed at me because they say, actually, you haven't proposed yet. Yeah, Why are you so talky? And I was like, I thought you're already asking me, I must be polite, right? I haven't, <laughs> I haven't even knew down and show her the real. The oh, I know, that was not the real proposal. You already <laughs> asked in the, the song, right? is actually very sweet to me like all this while especially when she flies uh, overseas uh, she will me, always get me like food, uh, snacks or something for me uh, especially when she goes on longer trips even though every time I ask her to buy some snacks for me right she will say no on WhatsApp right but she will still get for me in the end uh, so I'm always very well fed and uh, another thing is uh, she will always let me know when she arrives at, at the hotel or when she's leaving the hotel just to let me know that she's safe. He's been very very sweet to me like I don't think he's a normal person so I think like wow I've never met anyone like him before. We order two different dishes right and then I'll try his dish and then he's nicer 
and then he'll be like, okay, you take mine, and then he'll take my, my dish. No matter what, you know, whether he likes what he was having, right, he'll still give it to me. Uh, I've been flying for about over four years, and every single time, he would uh, wake up, wake me up, ask me what time I have to wake up, and uh, pray for me. No matter what time it is, whether it's 2am, 3am, whether I'm um, overseas or in Singapore, he'll do it. So I think that's really sweet. Like, he's been very, very consistent about this. So he'll just, uh, yeah, just wake me up and send a prayer message. You are live and pull together, we are live pull suction. I can't hold it. I don't want to take it.